sunset, the border world between the day and the night. When the sun dips and warms, and casts everything in hot orange light. When the tops of the trees flame and glow, before fading to blue, and then the black, the dark of the night. Let me ask you a question, and I'll answer it honestly. What do you think of my very handy chest harness? My wife thinks it makes me look like an idiot. I think it kind of makes me look like some kind of adventure man. But uh, <laughs> we'll let the court of public opinion decide. I am currently standing here on what's called Round Sea Fence, this little hill on the edge of the Mourne Mountains here in Northern Ireland. And today my plan is I'm gonna do a bit of a hike and then I'm gonna be spending 16 hours in complete darkness because I'm camping out tonight in a forest and the sun is gonna set down in that valley um, somewhere between half three and half four and then it won't rise again until uh, about half eight tomorrow morning. I'm gonna be in darkness the entire night. Let's go and have an adventure. Shortcut. Could not have got more amazing, more amazing weather for this. Following the sheep trails, the sheep trails, the sheep trails. Following the sheep trails. Oh, you treacherous sheep, this is boggy ground. Oh. Hey, what's up, you woolly headed ninny muggins? I trust that you sheep. That's what I thought. I mean, it is beautiful down here, but this is exactly the kind of ground I plan to avoid. Oh, oh well, I'm slowly getting there.
<sighs> couple of things you might find interesting. And the first thing you might find interesting is, can anyone tell that I've been shooting this entire video on an iPhone? Apart from the drone shots, of course, because my phone can't fly, but it would be interesting to know. Did you notice, what did you what did you think of the shot? And that includes like those ones with like depth of field that uses the iPhone cinematic mode. Sitting here with my tiny little box stove, this thing is great because um, you can use it as a replacement for a gas stove as long as you have something to burn. Burning these little, little mini logs, pop them in the top, they burn nice and slowly, and this is just giving off some nice steady heat. Here is my, here is my tiny little tent. In case you were wondering why I was sleeping in, it's the Rab refrigerator, and uh, <laughs> to say it's cozy in there is somewhat of an understatement. <laughs> it's currently 6 p.m. and there will not be daylight for another 14 hours. 14 hours in the pitch black on my own in a forest. Like you might ask me. Do you not find this a bit creepy, a little bit spooky? Not really, to be honest. I mean, if I start to hear creepy noises during the night, I might, you know, I might soil myself, but I'll stop talking a second and you can kind of listen to what I can hear. Listen. It's just incredibly peaceful. This is why I think I prefer forest camping to summit camping. Uh, I mean, the benefit of camping on a summit is that you're going to see a spectacular sunset or an amazing sunrise. But in the winter, what it means is you're exposed, you're sitting out for 16 hours. Oh, I burnt a hole in my trousers. Well, they were, they were quite cheap. Yeah, so if you camp up on a summit, even you're very going to be very exposed so if there's any wind i mean there's no wind down here but the forecast for the summits is 15 to 25 mile an hour winds i could not sit out in that whereas down here you're sheltered from the wind i've got an unlimited supply of stuff to burn just a note on the ethics of that i only burn stuff that's obviously dead um, and in this case, this this is these are branches that were already lying on the ground. Um, do not go cutting down trees, <laughs> trees to burn. This is stuff that's just going to sit and rot. Um, and I've got my little stove here with a nice, safe source of heat, and I can just sit. I've got a book with me. I'm going to sit, might read a book. Um, I've got some stuff on my my phone. I can sit and watch some things on my phone. There's no signal here whatsoever. I got no mobile signal whatsoever. Um, my only way to communicate is I have the little Garmin InReach Mini. I specifically got it so I could do stuff like this. So I'm able to use it to send messages via satellite. Um, so I've let Louise know that I'm safe. She knows where I am. Um, and if anything goes wrong, I can use it to kind of buzz for help. Silaloon. No idea how this is going to come out, but that is my face. Just illuminate it with moonlight. If this is picking me up, that's incredible because that's a phone I'm using. <laughs> it's such a cool night. It's not a breeze. And the moon's out. And the stars are out. You can see them up there just twinkling. Up in the trees. There's something pretty special about a still night in a forest when the moon's out and you've just got I, I don't know if you can see it but yeah you can just about make it out see that see those trees that's not my head torch that's nothing else that's just the moon and the whole forest is just just has this like silvery glow to it with the moonlight coming down and you just see the sides of the trees my eyes have kind of got adjusted to the to the moonlight I've had my head torch off for a while and I can see just yeah, it's pretty special. My chair as well, also a Christmas present. This is a very expensive chair, but um, when you're sitting out in a forest for like five, six hours at a time, it's really not comfortable just sitting on flat ground for a length of time. Just having a proper chair makes a massive difference. 
for sitting for any length of time. So I can just sit here and read. I'm reading The Wild Places by Robert McFarlane. Oh, and if you find this video interesting and you enjoy it, please, you know, give me a little like and feel free to subscribe. There's videos on here about outdoor stuff and adventures and things like that, um, as well as little bits about tech. But uh, I'm going to sit here and read my book and uh, catch you all in the morning. Well, I say I'm going to read my book and I have to get up and stop the phone recording because making videos is a complete contrivance. morning it's uh <laughs> it's half three i planned sleeping for an hour an hour and a half but my body has decided i'm wide awake now so i'm just gonna get up make coffee pack up and head out one of the things i really like to do when i go camping is create a light stick so I get a bendy stick that has a little branch on the top, attach my light to it, and I was able to hang my buff on here, stick a battery pack in, and I've got a lamp that's gonna go for absolutely hours. Also, if you've got some lower limbs on it, I've also got a nice little place for my spoon. Let's so go over and have a look. How's my coffee doing? Stir, stir, stir. That's camping. Ow! <coughs> Ouch, I seem to have come back through a holly thicket. It's spiky. <laughs> oh, I'm a little bit lost. There is the sun struggling to come out. I'm not gonna to go to the summit of Binion, I don't think, because it's coated in clouds this morning. Um, and also the wind speed is over 25 miles an hour, so I couldn't really fly the drone. That, and I don't think there's gonna be much of a sunrise. It's been fun. It's been, uh, I've, uh, I've been wanting to do more solo adventures like this for a long time. Why do I wanna do them solo? I, I don't know, I just feel compelled to, <laughs> to, to do stuff completely on my own sometimes. So what I thought might happen is exactly what happened. The sun came up right between these two lighter bits, come right up through this thick bit of cloud. And there was some nice light on the clouds for a bit, and then it just disappeared. So I'm glad I did not climb all the way up Binion because I'd be up there now freezing. <laughs> Uh, I'm feeling rather disappointed. I oh, hope you enjoyed this little adventure video. If you did, please give me a like, that'd be great. And uh, if you want to see more of these kinds of videos, feel free to subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one. I can't even talk properly, I'm too tired. Right, bye-bye. <laughs>